Good afternoon. This is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. And today we are trying something very, very different. Uh, it may look like, oh, gee, she's just making a master board. Well, for me, this is something brand new. I am inspired by 49 dragonflies. I watched a video that she created uh, using, uh, she created her master board a little bit differently than I do. I, I, she did not make it out of book paper. She made it out of some pieces that she had. And I thought, well, I have flowers in that. So I'm going to try and create my master board this way and do something different. And in order to remember where everything is, I have my little tablet here and I took a picture of this before I started and hoping that I could remember because once I start taking things off of here, which I'm going to do, I'm going to clear it to a certain extent. Let me stick this one down because I just glued it. But see, everything else now is kind of in the way, so I have to take it off of the master board. Sorry, I have to bring this down a little bit so I can see what the heck I'm doing. I'm sorry if my head is in the camera. Okay. And these are not, these pieces are not necessarily um, straight cut. Hopefully they are, but they might not be. Okay, I got a little bit of extra glue on my finger, so we'll just put it down there and keep that down there. So what I did was, these are digitals that I have. I'm going to take them all off of my master board here now. I'm keeping an eye on my camera so I know what goes where. Um, these are all digitals that I downloaded months ago and I'm afraid I don't remember where they came from if anybody looks at them and says oh I know where that's from please let me know what I did was I kept them in my folder until such time as I would be ready to use them now see this has a little bit of white space up at the top so I think what I'm going to do is cut some of that off and put that in there. There we go. So we'll keep that aside because you never know when you might need a little piece. And then what I did was I went through everything and I inked the edges because I wanted to see what kind of a an effect that would give me on here. Okay. I really do think I like what it's going to look like. My picture does not show me with that in there. Um, and I started from the corners when I put this together. It doesn't looks like I missed an edge. I'm using Vintage Photo Distress Ink. And in order to do these, the, the edges... And anyway, so I watched this video with her, and by the time I finished the video, I thought, okay, what a way to make myself feel incompetent. She created this master board and then did some things with it that were really, really cool to begin with. But, oh my glory, she was so impressive and I'm going to go ahead and put that down because there's some blank space here but I have a piece that's going to end up going over the top of that anyway I she created art there is no two ways about it what she created when she was done was definitely art and there as she's working I'm thinking to myself okay she's done with that piece now and then she'd add something new to it and then I think, oh, well, then now she's done. And she'd add something new to it. it. She just kept going and she kept adding. And by the time she was done, it went from beautiful to perfect. It was amazing what she did with this stuff. Okay, um, I'm going to do the same thing on this one because there's a, so much white space up there. 
or maybe I'll wait. Hang on. Let me put this piece is going in here. And then I have this piece to go in and I'm going to cut off some of the white space here and some here and then ink it back up again. I'm not tearing these. These are on, I had printed these on cardstock. Um, and I think I want that to go under. So we're going to put that one down. I took a little too much off the bottom there, I guess, but that's all right. It's a master board and then we'll just kind of figure out where it's going. we're going to go from here. I am going to try to follow as much as I can her steps in creating not only the master board, but in creating the things that she did after she made the master board. And I will do my darndest. Okay. I think that's going to go there. Hang on. I've got some other pieces here. You go this way. I'm, I, like I said, this is a puzzle piece. And I chose flowers that are all of similar um, patterns and designs. Okay, and then is that going to go over? Yeah, that, that'll go over. Okay. So with the exception of the pear, I suppose everything else is a flower. And then this one doesn't, this one's kind of at more of an abstract piece. But yeah, I, as I'm sitting here looking at the board, I really decided that it needed, each piece needed a little bit of individuality. Um, as far as layering, which is something you, if you're a long time viewer of my channel, you know that that's one of my skills that I don't have and I'm working on it is how to layer things in. So several of these have some layering already. You know, there's a letter here and then there's a pair and there's some writing underneath the flowers here. There's obviously writing underneath the flowers here. Um, this is obviously a due date, uh, a library card with a piece in it. So there's some layering already going on in the photos themselves in the digital downloads that I picked up, but we're going to see where else we can do some layering once we get all of these pieces on here. And there's some overlapping going on and I'm okay with that. You'll see why in a bit. Okay, and I said that I liked how that kind of went right over the top of everything there. And the next piece is actually a little bit sideways. I think that's okay there. And then where's the piece that goes at the bottom? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that piece was supposed to go here. It's going to go here instead. That's all right. It works. Okay. Sorry, momentary momentary panic when I couldn't find the card that I thought I was supposed to have in my hand. They're not exactly the same size, so it might change things up a little bit, but it should be okay. All right. So I watch other YouTube videos for inspiration. Um, although I'll tell you, I finished watching hers and I thought there is no way on God's green earth that I will ever be that good. Like I said, this is, I am so new to composition and she's talking about triangles and I know about the rule of three, um, we, you know, you divide it into threes. This is actually going to be kind of in groups of four, um, Anyway, 
if you're looking for art theory, you don't want to be watching these videos because this, I don't know any art theory. I'm learning it as I go here. Composition, not my strong suit. Okay. And how much of that do I want it to overlap down there? And how much up here? I think we're good there. All right. I am using a glue stick for these because I think that has always worked. Cardstock on cardstock works well with a glue, glue stick for me. So I'm okay with that. Okay, now I have this one little piece left over here, and I'm kind of wondering. I also have a little bit over here that needs, if that making it too white. Because I also have this piece here, and I can just take off a couple of small pieces, and I think that's what I'm going to do. One of the nice things about having digital downloads is that if you decide to, yeah, see, that'll fit very nicely there. And if you screw something up, you know what? Go print it again. It's not that big a deal. I know printer ink can get expensive. If I put that one there, that covers everybody up. Perfect. Perfect. All right. I'm back to wearing sweatshirts. I have. I live in the Finger Lakes of New York State, and we had some 80 degree weather just a couple, just last week. But it is not normal for this time of year. What is normal, and I'm going to. I didn't ink that one, but I don't think it's going to matter too much because it's already pretty dark. Um. What is normal is the temperatures around, you know, between 60 and 65. It's what we kind of expect. Well, today it's 42. It's very cold as far as I'm concerned. I want my spring weather, not this very, very cold weather. All right. So I have created my master board. Put that away. And there it is. I kind of like that. Um, now what I'm going to do is pause my video and I'm going to go do something different, something very different. And we're going to see if, in fact, my printer will behave itself. So I will be back in a few minutes. Okay, so that was a few seconds for you. It's been almost a half an hour for me. So here's the original master board. This is where, we, where I left you. And then I decided to try printing it on vellum. And I'm going to turn the master board over so you can see it a little bit better. This is a thick weight vellum. It really kind of smeared. It did not do what I expected it to. Um, and this is actually take two. I had a thinner vellum. I put it through my printer and my printer promptly ate it up. Chomp, chomp, chomp. It's now in shreds and pieces. I don't know if I can save any of it, but it's it's a goner. So I took this down to my husband's printer. What is really cool, we've discovered on his printer, is it prints pretty much edge to edge, which is not something normal. I did then print this on my computer to see how it would come out. Uh, and you can see that I have edges. This is just on cardstock. Um, Mostly I was just double checking to make sure that I had, in fact, cleared off all of the pieces of vellum that the machine ate. And I think I have gotten them all. So uh, my experiment of trying this on vellum is not a very good. It really didn't work. This is a, a heavier duty vellum. The thin vellum got eaten. The thicker vellum smeared. So I'm going to have to look for a different kind of paper. The one that she used was very similar to this, but I don't know if it was actually this kind of 
paper or not. Um, all right, so I'm going to stop my video for a moment here while I fall back three yards and punt. Okay, so after much consideration, I have decided I'm going to take the um, printed master board. This is not the actual master board. That one is still over here, and I still am going to be doing some things with that. Um, I don't know what yet, but we're going to do that. But I think I want to play around with this a little bit and see what happens. I have recently... Uh, recently, like within the last hour, bought these Tim Holtz, um, what do you call them? Just a, it's, It was a Tim Holtz ephemera pack from Joanne Fabrics, and I think I might try put using some of those. And then I have all of these cool tickets and um, some flower cutouts that I have done. And I thought about putting them on my master board. And I actually tried it out, and I liked how some of it looked you know, putting a, a piece here and a piece there and whatnot. But I decided that I would rather save these for the actual individual tags. I don't think I want to clutter up my master board any, excuse me, any further. I didn't stamp on it because, you know, when I was doing this on the original board, I did not put any stamps on it. I will do that sometimes, like with a book page. I chose not to because it's very, very busy already as it is. So let's go ahead and cut this up and we're going to blind cut it. I always blind cut, so we'll see what we end up with. I am going to pull out my arm so I can see where my measurements are. This is eight and a half by 11. So we will start with a three inch, which brings it down to eight inches. Actually, let's start with two and a half. I like the two and a half size for a pocket, to go into a pocket. And that's what these are going to be. These are not going to be pockets themselves. So that was, what did I just say? That was eight and a half. So this is six. And then we'll make some longer tags. This is eight and a half. So we'll go with uh the five and a half would be a three inch piece, six inches. Let's do the six and see where we go. So we have a six inch piece and we'll go to a, we'll do two threes, how's that? And then I can always cut these in half if I decide I want to. The nice thing about this being a JPEG now I can print this off as many times as I want. If I don't like how these came out, I can always do them differently. And I am going to take a moment and cut these two down. Um, come upside down. Hang on. Okay. So that's eight and a half. So, I'm sorry, my brain is trying to do math. Four and a quarter. I am having a little bit of issue with my cutter. I think it's time for one of the guillotines. All right. All right. You ready for the reveal? Let's see what we ended up with. Okay. So there's the first one. I didn't cut my edges because I wanted to see what I ended up with just the way it was. So that's kind of cool. Because I can always cut the edges off. If I decide I don't like them, I can always cut them off. I like that one. Okay, this one ended up being pretty much the, the, the whole card because it was a big card to begin with. Okay, there we go. And then these are the longer tags that can be used as belly bands. I didn't get those even at all. Did I? Oh, no, I did. I did. So there's the two-inch one. I like that. And there are the others. I don't think I like the belly. I don't think I like the border on, especially on these. So I'm going to take a minute. I'm going to cut off my borders and I will be back. Okay, so I'm back. And um, what I've done is I, I have these. I inked all the edges. I don't know. I mean, I may end up cutting them into, you know, rounding edges and, and whatnot. But uh, I thought I would go ahead and at least ink the edges and get that started. Um, I watched... Dragon 40, 49 Dragonflies video again, and she used this piece to make an envelope. 
which I think it sounds like a really cool idea. And I will probably end up doing the same with that. And I'm thinking, okay, this was just done as an experiment just to kind of play around and see what I had and what was going to happen. But I really don't, I, I don't have a journal particularly in mind for this. But one is forming in my head. So I'm thinking I want to do another Victorian Rose kind of journal. And what I did was I, I just went and printed off these three sheets. These are the sheets that these came from, that several of these pieces were on. And this is from katecrafts.com. I'll hold that up so that you can see it. katecrafts.com, um, which is where I got all of these beautiful digitals. And I did not, obviously did not use all of these in my piece, but I did use a number of them. But I thought, okay, as I'm cutting these up and I'm thinking, okay, do I want to make tags? Do I want to make journal cards? And I thought, you know what would be really cool is if you have this, for example, as a belly band with one of these to go under in it that match what's on the on it. So they don't quite necessarily, the colors don't necessarily, here's, here could be a belly band, and there's the piece that would go inside of it. The colors are slightly different. I don't know why. I, I It's my printer. I think I need a new one. Um, every once in a while, it just splurts red all over everything. So, um, yeah, it's it's starting to get to the point where I'm going to need a new one. Um, when I When I did the vellum, and it ate it. My husband said, well, why didn't you put it in through the back and do a rear piece rather than trying to make it come up and around? And I said, because I don't have a back entrance to my printer. It only prints one way. You can, you have a tray and it goes through the tray. If it doesn't come through the tray, you don't have a printer. So um, this he did this through the back on his. I am Now that I know, however, that his printer will print all the way to the outside. I may be using his printer more often than mine. Who knows? So anyway, that's where I am right now with this. Um, I'm probably going to end for the day. It is getting pretty late in the afternoon. You can see the sun is starting to come in from the opposite window. So uh, I think I will tomorrow make a signature and then start putting these pieces inside of it. All right. For now, this is Cindy signing off, but there will be a part two to this video and just kind of stick around and uh, we'll see what happens.